do 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 Alright, Pokemon Sleep. <gasps> Jace! Guys, it says she's three feet away, but she's like actually like three feet away. Oh my goodness, Tratini, what are you doing here? Are you eating all those Magikarp that are flopping up on the lake? Well, at least here's one more addition to our Dratini lake. No, why did I do that? I, I shouldn't have moved. I could have caught her if I hadn't budged. <gasps> did she like... What are you doing, little one? Are you making it harder? I want to catch you. Here, eh, there we go. That should get her. So there we go. One more addition to our Dratini pile. I kind of want to build like an entire team of just Dratini. But it would be really hard to get their CP up because I don't know if we'll find any more Dratini in the future. So we'll have to make the decision. Keep lots and lots of little water noodles or go ahead and release them so we can get the CP. And then just have like a really strong water noodle. What do you guys think? Should we level up Dratini or should we just keep a bazillion of them? Alright, and I thought we would go ahead and wrap up the day by popping over to Bitwalk Apartments and walking through there and seeing if we have any luck managing to find any Pokemon. There's a whole bunch more Pokemon over here, mostly mostly Meowth and Eratata and a few of the other common ones. That's kind of cute because it's like they're just living in around the apartments. So we'll see if we find anybody over here, but uh, I was really hoping for more Dratini today. At least we caught a few of them, so let's go see what else we can find. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Before I can even leave, we bump into two Radita. That's amazing. All right, in you go, little guy. So residential areas seem to be really great for things like Meowth and Radita. Uh, and a lot of Goldeen, which is surprising me. Do you guys have a whole bunch of Goldeen? All right, there we go. One Radita down. I was kind of hoping for more birds because today has been such a bird day. Oh my gosh, there's just nothing but Radita nearby. Oh my gosh, they're multiplying. So many Radita! Are you like the base of the food chain? Are you like my deer mice in my Taito Ecology playthrough? Is that why I must have so many Radita around here? Well, we'll see what else we can find though. Sometimes I've seen some rare looking things over in Bitblock Apartment, so we'll see if we can stumble on anybody. All right, Rat part of the Radita population down. I feel like we're a Radita catcher today, oh my goodness. Oh, and also we're taking this way as well because it's just a little mm. bit further. What? Oh my gosh, another one. We truly are a radica, radica catcher right now. Oh, it's just a tiny baby. Get in there. But yeah, we're taking this route because I'm hoping to bump into quite a few more, uh, or to hatch the eggs. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's just a little bit longer than when if we went around Dratini Lake and since there's no Dratini in evidence, I figured we'd do this. What? There's a gold bat nearby. Well, I didn't expect that. What? And now you vanished again. That's right, go back to sleep, buddy. It's early, early in the morning. You shouldn't be out right now. Mm. What? Oh my gosh, look at this. There's like a whole little cluster. Oh my gosh, and you are like a goldine to be wrestled with. I guess Bitblock Apartments is worth walking over to today. So there's a Goldeen and I think was that a Pidgey or a Spearow and a Radita all right here. And there's a coughing nearby. I have not seen a coughing yet. So this just goes to show you like how even for me who goes walking almost every day. Oh my gosh, you're a tough one too. Come here, come here little guy. Well, what the heck? Not fair. Do you know how long I had to sit by the Pokestop to collect all- Oh, and then you jumped to collect all those Pokeballs. But I guess it just goes to show you where even me, who goes walking like every single day around Dratini Lake, um, it really helps me to walk in new areas with Pokemon Go because it helps me to find Pokemon I wouldn't expect. All right, and the kids are beginning to come, so let's catch this Rattata and run for it. Come here, little guy. In you go. There you go. All right, so let's keep moving. We'll see if we can stumble on that coughing or at least a few more Meowth because I would love to have a Persian actually. Dun. All done. Mm. Oh. Aww. It's a wee little Caterpie. Oh, he's just a little guy too. Man, this area is actually really good for finding a whole bunch of you guys. So many Pokemon over here. And so many children. Mm. You guys, no way. There it is. Oh my gosh!
gosh. A coughing. I shouldn't be so... Oh my gosh, he's really high level though. Am I going to be able to like tackle the smog? Alright, come on buddy. Bitblock Apartments needs me. I feel like the Bitblock Apartment exterminator or poke catcher today. Exterminator is a strong word because I'm not exterminating the Pokemon. But there we go. Cool. Alright, we are definitely finding all sorts of newbies. So actually, it's almost like a game. How many Rattata and how many of the more like Pokemon you might associate as pest Pokemon can I catch before we, we get back home? This is actually turning into like a fun little mini adventure. Let's see what else we can find. Okay, I think my egg is going to hatch soon because the eggs seem pretty darn happy. Mm. Yes, all right, and what did we just find? Oh, there we go! Oh my gosh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Come here, my good friend. You look amazing. Look at him with his little wings folded back. Got him. All right, got pictures of him at least. Now to see, oh, he's just a little guy. Hey, hey, eat this. It looks like we're chucking it straight into his mouth. Here, eat this. What? Okay, let's try again. Maybe with a curveball. And into your mouth it goes. What? Why do I suck at this? Why? All right, go. There. Oh my gosh, if we caught him, I'm going to be so excited. It really does. No, come on. Come on. And drink. How did he do that? Does, do they really bat them away? Okay, come on. This is so ridiculous. Now I'm just going to start chucking them at him. Hey. Hey. Oh my gosh, this is how I wasted so many Pokeballs before. Alright, focus. Focus. Today I am Pokemon Pest Removal Service. Okay, we're going to feed him a raspberry. Oh my gosh, he is like batting it off. Everybody keeps telling me, Siri, it's when, it's when he is... Okay, now we fed him a raspberry. Maybe he'll like us a little more. Come here. How did that not work? How? There. I guess I had to check it a little harder. Alright, let's see if we manage to get him now, because I am Pokemon Pest Removal Services today. And I just got my first gold bat. Sweet! That is so awesome, you guys. Ah, oh, I would love to get a Vulpix. This is awesome. Oh, and there's a Rattata right here. Alright, come here. Surely, with all the Pokeballs I was just throwing on the ground, one of them should have accidentally hit him. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go sit by the Pokestops and re like regenerate my, my Pokeballs or gather up a whole bunch of them from the Pokestops again. Ah, oh. the good thing to do is to take a book to do that if you need to do that. All right. Well, I'm noticing something, you guys. I think the steps are broken today because he was supposed to be three steps away and we just tripped right over him. So I think the steps are broken today and it's resulting in feeling like you're super far away from the Pokemon and then literally just stumbling on top of them. So let's see what else we can find because this is absolutely awesome. Today I am Siri, Pokemon Pest Removal. Also, hopefully very, very soon, I will be Siri, owner of an egg that's going to hatch. So let's try that out. Mm. Who's here? <gasps> Another ratata. All right, come here, little guy. I'm gonna catch you, like our humane Pokemon traps. I guess that's true. If you had a whole bunch of ratata running around, they probably could cause a bit of a problem. So today we are humanely catching a whole bunch of pest-type Pokemon from the apartment complex, and we're gonna take them home and turn them into really adorable Pokemon. And I wish I could find where that Meowth went. And there's no Dratini. I wish there were more Dratini, but it seems like the Dratini are very, very strictly around the lake. So I'm going to remember that. All right, but we're, we're almost home. So we'll have to see if my egg hatches. Come on, egg. Come on. I want you to hatch today. <gasps> the egg's going to hatch any second now, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna climb behind this tree. Come on. Come on, little one. Oh, what are you gonna hatch into? An Oddish? No way! Oh my gosh, you guys. That is fantastic. This is absolutely awesome because Oddish is probably, to be honest, my favorite Pokemon. 
So this is perfect. One of my very first rare eggs hatched into an Oddish. So just a couple days after I got my very first Oddish of all time, one of my eggs hatched into an Oddish. <gasps> I love you. I'm going to give you a little star and I'm going to have to come up with a cool name for this guy and I'll show you guys where he was hatched because it's a pretty little spot here in the Bitblock Apartments. And there's a Dratini nearby. What do you want to bet it's waiting for me inside of my shoe closet? <laughs> so we'll go see if we found another Dratini in the shoe closet. And I'll show you guys where my little Oddish just hatched. And this is what will now be known as the tiny Oddish clearing. Dun dun dun! It's actually a really cool place because believe it or not, these trees are trees that we've seen red uh, tail hawks jump out of. And this is the little spot where we have actually seen a stray black kitten that has since gone away or else we would have tried to catch it, uh, running around chasing sparrows. It actually seemed pretty feral and able to take care of itself, so we weren't too worried. But there's a lot hiding here. All right guys, we are back home and I was just settling in to review the amazing day of Pokemon catching we have had today and over the last few days. And then over here I can see that the Pokestop is activated and the next thing you know I get a little buzz and it seems like I have a Rattata who's actually, look at him, <gasps> it's so cute, he's eating my cherries. Oh, he's in my little cherry bowl. It's just like the freaking squirrels I have been putting up on my vlogs lately that have been like wiggling their way onto my deck and eating all of the bird seed there. Ah, that's too cute. No, I wanted to get a picture of him like actually, get in the cherry bowl. Get in the cherry bowl, little adorable thing. Come on, come on. Lunge at the cherries, bite the cherries, stop jumping. Yeah, yeah, well that's probably as good as it's gonna get. Well, let's go ahead and catch this little guy because he was eating our cherries in the cherry bowl. That's the same spot, by the way, that I've caught like five or six Dratini. So I'm just gonna need to keep Pokemon Go activated more often when I am at my desk and working. And we'll see how many desk Pokemon we end up catching. But that was pretty cool, all right. It's actually been a, and you can see there's like a Fero nearby and a few other things. And I've noticed today and over the last few days, like the last few episodes, the steps do not go down no matter where you go. They stay at three steps, so that's not really helping when you're trying to find Pokemon. But ah oh well, ah oh well. All right, so what have we done over the last little bit? Let's check our journal. It has been pretty busy. I mean, look at that, a Golbat and a Coughing when we were busy collecting all of the Pokemon and Radita after Radita after Radita from the Bitblock Apartments. I did not anticipate that being quite as exciting as it got. And then down here, we caught the Goldeen. We got a whole bunch of Rattata. We got that Dratini. I was very excited to see that Dratini. When the when we found all of those Magikarp and all of those birds, the Magikarp that just seemed to like float up out of the water and be flopping like a Magikarp run, like the way salmon do salmon run up along the river, or up along the, um, the side of the Dratini Lake. That was interesting. So many birds! We got so many birds over the last day. And then not to mention, we did catch my very first Oddish and my very first Tangela. That Tangela is now actually one of our strongest Pokemon, so I'm very excited to have my hands on it. And, oh man, it just looks so cool. What should we name it? We found it at Squirrel Crunch Road, so I'm gonna need to name it something maybe around that theme. And I did get another Oddish. Does it say anything about the Oddish that hatched? It doesn't really say anything about the Oddish that hatched. It better still be here. Is my Oddish still here? My child, I hatched you. Yeah, there it is, there it is. This is the Oddish that I actually hatched from the egg and that made me super happy. You guys, I have such a weak, like a weak, weak, weak spot for Oddish and grass type Pokemon and Oddish is just for some reason one of my favorites. So that makes me super happy. And we've got a whole bunch of Rattata and we have a lucky egg. So I've heard that if you save your lucky eggs uh, and then you save all of your Pokemon, like you really try to get as many Pokemon as possible and then you activate your lucky egg so that you have that 30 minutes of bonus experience, that's when you wanna go through all of your bonus Pokemon and release them because you get experience when you release your bonus Pokemon. And I hear that really helps then when you have a lucky egg because you earn double experience for 30 minutes. So instead of like sitting here and releasing all of my Pokemon now, if I hold on to all of our extras, and then release them in the future, then when I have a lucky egg activated, then that, that my friends, is when we will be able to get a ton of experience points. So let me know any tips or advice you would have, like what you would do if you were Siri, and probably most of you guys would probably do things that I wouldn't do, like 
<laughs> release all the Dratini. I love the Dratini. I don't want to release them, but it's pretty exciting that we found so many of them. We do have so many little water noodles now, and especially the tiny weak ones we might consider releasing so that we will be able to uh, eventually level up my Dratini. I do kind of want to make it so it, either my, my Dragonair or my Dragonite, um, depending on if we end up with the Dragonair. All right, where's my little Dragonite? Where are you? Where are you? There you are, Pearl. Hold still, Pearl. I think she's a Dragonite, right? I feel so embarrassed that I can't remember. All right, but I actually kind of want to make her like one of my top fighters if I could get her there. Is it possible to make her like a really tough fighter? Wrap and Dragon Breath, or is it just worth it? She's so pretty now. I don't really want to make her a big fat dragon. <laughs> Which is terrible, but let me know if it's worth it to go ahead and evolve her or if you guys think I could make her quite the amazing beautiful fighter. Oh man, she's so pretty. I don't want to evolve her. Do you think it's worth it to evolve her though or do you think it's worth it to just power her up? What do you guys think? Let me know. Let me know and we'll take a care of her. We have our Pidgeot is suddenly like mama hen. Look at all these Pidgey. Just so many Pidgey. And I had a great time, so thank you guys. It's been a little while since I've done Pokemon Go because you guys know there's so much going on in my real life. But seeing the constant support and excitement, especially because Pokemon Go is kind of an odd thing to Let's Play, but I have added story to it, so hopefully that'll help uh, all of us enjoy it better. But thank you guys so much. Look, see, there's one. I mean, the dragon's cool and all, but I don't, I don't know. Okay, there he is. All right, so there, there is a really strong Dragonite. So I have a Dragonair. Thank you very much for Dragonite being there and letting me know. So there's Dragonite, and I have a Dragonair, but it's not as cute as Pearl. So I kind of want to keep Pearl as she is. But we do need to go. <gasps> Curse you, Squirtle! Why do you have to show up right here right now? Oh, and the lure just like deactivated. Oh my gosh. Uh, all right, you guys. Well, I'm gonna go see if I can find that Squirtle. Just if it's like in my backyard, and if it's actually in my backyard, A plus to us, and I'll show it off to you guys. But if not, thanks so much for watching, thanks so much for helping me build up my team and all of our amazing Pokemon, and actually getting attached to them, and not just treating them like disposable little tradey things. And I will see you guys on more adventures as we continue to go out and adventure in places I never would have gone in in the world without Pokemon Go, and find all sorts of new things together, thanks to trying to pursue our Pokemon. So, I'll, leave, I'll either see you when I tackle that Squirtle, and like rejoice or I will see you next time. Bye guys. <laughs> there we go. Here we go, buddy. All right, very first polywag. No, don't dodge it. Stay there, my friend. There we go. And he was over here at the Water Snake Creek. And absolutely no luck finding that Squirtle. I think he vanished on us. So at least we got a Poliwag. That guy's new. Yeah, there you go, little buddy. All right, now you're added to the Pokedex. That guy's down at least, and somebody has activated a lure, so I may go over there for a second and we'll see what we find you guys, but it looks like the Squirtle has escaped us this time. At least we got a polywag out of it though. That was awesome. Mm. <laughs> and there's the Spiro. Come here, come out of that bush. All right, and I think that may be close to everybody. Like I said, I'll see what pops up when we hit the lure area, but if we're not able to get ourselves any cool Pokemon, then we'll go back home for now, and then we will go on some more adventures next time, maybe even in some, into some new areas, but this lake, man, it has some really awesome Pokemon. I hope you guys are enjoying the adventures, and I'll try to find some real-life animals that we can follow around like those adorable ducklings again, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> How do you make any sense? This is a beautiful tree in a gorgeous park. How does your presence make any sense coughing? I guess we're still cleaning up all the coughing from before. That's kind of hilarious. Alright, we got him. I guess he was just here to admire the beautiful flowers as well. 
Not bad.